McGregor and Tony Ferguson. Well, he was the first man to amass a double-digit winning streak in the shark-infested lightweight waters in the UFC, the former interim champion, El Kukui, Tony Ferguson, back on the proving ground here today. Tony Ferguson was able to navigate the toughest division in the UFC. He's one of the most diverse, nasty strikers the UFC has ever seen. And you couple that with that college wrestling background. Every time you step foot in the octagon with Ferguson, you know you have your hands full. One of the most exciting fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is an eight-point striker, outstanding submission game, has a lot of good chokes in his arsenal. He'll lean on that Dosh choke, has a pretty good triangle as Watch well. Watch that no single. I'm telling you, <laughs> Tony Ferguson ready to prove yet again that he is one of, if not the best lightweight on planet Earth. Well, the celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I gotta be in the first row behind <laughs> the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas, they come in groups, they want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. One, two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation. He takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. McGregor is 32. Ferguson is 36. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffy. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 26 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Tony Ferguson versus Conor McGregor, DC. I'm nervous, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not fighting tonight, but it kind of feels like I am. I mean, I think we all feel the exact same way because you have two of the best fighters in the entire world meeting in the octagon, champion versus champion, celebrity versus celebrity. El Kukui's going crazy. Conor McGregor's a massive star. I can't wait until this one gets started. That one's nice, right? Nice strike. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Big left hand there inside. Oh! Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cover. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Oh, nice right hand. Big hook. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Back to the feet. Oh, 
that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. 30 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Punch is blocked. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that imperative. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. He's trying to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the action. Whoa! What a fantastic strike. He's jumping. Ooh, diving punch lands. Oh, look at him jumping in. Stop doing it! Whoa! What a performance! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 10 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time when you get a knockout like that. Not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.